So here we go. One hour later than planned, we are going to get a Gardner Conference game between the Hull Stingrays and the Five Flyers. Tom Darnell is the referee, the linesman, Luke Palmer and Phil Sewell. And we hope for no more problems and no more delays. We hope for a great game of hockey here tonight. Thank you to everyone who has stuck with us. Remember, any issues with the webcast feed, email live TV at holstingrays.net. Here is Fulton, the Flyers' first line out right away. Jameson beats Fulton to it. And the puck is played up the boards, and the Stingrays will try and launch their first attack. Lozon. Fleming all over him, and Fleming's done well to get the puck away from Lozon. Not quite out of the zone. And it'll be Nickerson who is able to complete the clearance, but at the cost of an icing whistle. Lowe's on for Tanaka. Pavato is the option on the near side. Pavato had a one-shot blocked and tried to get it back for another. He scored the game winner in the third period against the clan last night. Oh, giveaway by the Flyers. Opportunity, the Stingrays are going to score. No, they're not. What a save that is by Regan. It's Havato denied as he pulled it onto the backhand side. And I can't believe Regan got across to kick that away with the left pad. That was a super stop. Because the turnover behind the goal looked as though he was going to set up a Stingrays goal. And there are members of Josh Schoon's Barmy Army in the crowd tonight. There also is away shirt sponsors. Knox plays that forward, the Stingrays are in. Chance for Lozon, through the legs and in. A goal worth waiting for, for Carl Lozon. Knox made it happen. And he poked it through and Lozon was in behind. And he had the step he needed. And slipped it underneath Reagan. And it's the Stingrays who have the opening goal at 5.42. It'll be Lozon assisted Knox, it'll be an even strength goal. And here's Lozon again, got Frederick in support. It was Wands, by the way, who broke his stick. It's still lying loose on the ice in two pieces. Galbraith, nice hands. Oh, he tried to play the pass across and it did hit the butt end of the stick. And we're going to have a little bit of pushing and shoving. And Haynes is right in the middle of it. I don't think Darnell is going to call anything extra on this. Stingrays have taken the fewest penalties in the league this season. The Flyers, largely thanks to Matt Snickerson, haven't. Here come the Flyers, switch to Lukasiewicz, this could be dangerous, back post, beautiful goal, Milam. That's wonderful, classic counter-attack, and Milam puts it in at the back post from the feed from Lukasiewicz. We've got a tie game here, with 9.03 left in the first. So let's take a look at it again. And the cross streets, cross ice pass gets Lukasiewicz, free, three on two. It's a lovely feed, Brown was sprawling. I don't think there was a lot he could do about that. Barto. Trapped up against his own bench. And plays the puck back, and the Stingrays will now look forward through Maya, Pavato, Tanaka. Pavato tries to move it across, the puck sits in the crease, and the net has been not loose. And that stopped the Flyers in their tracks because they were looking to make another three on two happen at the other end. And we'll get another chance to look at that on the replay. And it's Pavato who was trying to be on the end of the pass from Tanaka. The puck was in the crease for a moment. But Regan it did just enough. But you know that Milan... And they're at the first intermission in Dundee with the Brayhead clan leading by two goals to nil. Here's Lozon. Opportunity for the Stingrays. Oh, and again the net has come off. And that's the second time Regan has gone across to that right-hand post. 
and knock the net loose on this power play. And the fans are going to get frustrated if it keeps happening. I'm not sure he's trying to do that, in fact, I'm sure he's not. But even so, he's going to test the patience of Tom Darnell if it keeps happening. Sing race power play. Only a touch over 13% this season. It's been a real disappointment. It had been improved in recent weeks. Oh, there we go. That was that for an improvement. Will Frederick, what a ripper. The Stingrays have their lead back. That'll get the fans on their feet. They haven't had many power play goals to cheer this year. That was a long red slap shot. And a good one. There was a screen from Osman in front of Regan. And Frederick took the pass from Jameson and hammered it in. Stood on the puck, I think, and left it behind. Lovato takes over. And he's going to skate the puck clear. Look at the injection of speed. Dropped off for Tanaka. Penalty coming as Tanaka's shot is saved by Regan. And we're going to get a penalty against the Flyers. And the Stingrays will be on the power play again with Nickerson in the box this time. Not a full line change because they're say, just rotating eight forwards. Not everyone will get a chance to have a short shift. Final couple of seconds, Sir and Amy goes backwards. And the period will end with the Stingrays in front by two goals to one. So we're underway here at the start of the second period. We are even strength. The Stingrays have a two goals to one lead. There is Frederick to do work in his own zone. Galbraith trying to barrel his way through and pass Nickerson as well. He's a strong man. He's got the Stingrays into an attacking position. Frederick sends it across and the save is made by Regan. Lukasiewicz and Nickerson between them work this down the boards. There's Shamok. Turcotte turns between two and gets the Stingrays moving forward again. Lozon, nice hands. This is dangerous. This is Carl Lozon at his best. Around the netminder, but he can't play the puck back into trouble. Because Regan got his arm down and blocked the pass. Carl Lozon has been in really good form the last few weeks. And we'll get an opportunity to take a look at that again. And you can see he was trying to play it back for Towner, who was lurking at the top of the crease. Nickerson. Flyers trying to wrap around, they've drawn a penalty. Jameson's going to go, he hold down Fulton. Regan is on the bench, Lukasiewicz is off for the extra attacker. The Stingrays are now in possession, so the whistle will go. And Brendan Jameson will have to go and have a sit down. Stingrays trying to keep him to the outside, the puck comes through. And Nickerson gives Pasha a little bit of a shove. Pasha's back to his feet. And Nickerson is going to skate away. Collision between Meyer and Haynes. And now here's Reba across the blue line. Carried it a long way, trying to get it across towards Wilson. And again, they're looking for that pass to the back door. This one's gone through. Brown couldn't get a stop on it. He's furious, but the Flyers are level. Out of nowhere, the shot on the turn. And the Flyers have got the equalizing goal. It's OJ with it. Brown has got a little bit of a pad to it, but couldn't make the save. As OJ is in, OJ is trying to make the move. Brown's made the kick save. OJ in behind, and the follow up shot is slapped on goal by Haynes, and Brown stopped that one as well. The Flyers very much on top at the minute. Can they find the go-ahead goal? 
They haven't led in this game yet. Suraniemi, pad save made. Follow up, they're in front now. It's Reba with the finish. After the shot was saved by Brown. And the Flyers deserve this because they've been the better team for the majority of this period. The pressure's been building. And finally the goal comes. Reba, the first onto the puck. And Brown didn't get a clear look at the rebound. 32-31. It's an even strength goal. And the puck comes out to Lukasiewicz. Fired across at a height that Flyers weren't able to do anything with. Nickerson tried the little reverse pass, didn't work out. Oh, and then he gives a shove to Pasher, and that's not a penalty. And the fans supporting the Stingrays can't believe it. The Stingrays need to concentrate. Lukasiewicz, what a boost it'd be to the Flyers if they could double the lead as the second period winds down. Oh, and it's been pinched, and Lozon, can he break away? Caught up in the linesman, and Haynes is all over him, and a penalty will be called on Kyle Haynes. And that'll have been the loudest cheer for a while. And then a little bit of afters, and Pasha's not happy, and Havato wants in there. And this game is in danger, perhaps of boiling over. A hit at one end by Nickerson wasn't called, a penalty on Haynes will be called. And it was just the hit into the boards at the end of everything from Haynes that really didn't need to be made. And I wonder if we'll get another look at that. There's the initial penalty. The whistle has already gone, and that is not a hit that Kyle Haynes needs to make. He has plenty of time to pull out of that. And that could be one of that. Oh, Nickerson. With... Pasha exchanging words, and they're not friendly words. And I think Nickerson and Pasha are both going to sit. Tom Darnell has had enough, and we're going to get a fair few penalties. With a minute and three remaining in the second period. Jameson is out of the box. It's a Stingrace power play until the end of the period. Flyers able to carry it clear. It's good work from Milam. The Stingrays have got five seconds. They'll go for the long shot. Now that's fairly comfortable for Regan, and it brings the period to an end. And what a good period it has been for the five Flyers. They have turned it around. Goals from OJ and Reba. Have turned a 2-1 deficit into a 3-2 lead. And Omar Pasha and the whole Stingrays have work to do. It'll be a happier Todd Dutiem. Lisa Cooper has tweeted in. She's watching along with Kev Cooper. And they are already two bottles of wine down. Well, they're having a good evening. Their team are winning. The Stingrays 5 on 4 to start the third period. The puck drops. And Cal Braith plays it back. And the Stingrays have first possession of the final period. Frederick chips and chases. The Stingrays to get something because otherwise they're going to be looking over their shoulder as the team's chasing them. Close in on them. And that playoff spot looks pretty secure. Might not so much after this weekend. Shot fired in from an angle on Regan and he's got it trapped. Knox was shoving after it. And we're all going to gather around and have a cuddle. So a point for the Caps, two for the Blaze, the two teams right behind the whole Stingrays. Not sure if Darnell is going to call anything as a result of these shenanigans. And we have a final score from Dundee. The Dundee Stars won, the Brayhead Clan three. Seven minutes to go. Flyers one goal lead, still holds. Lozon going all the way through, the puck bobbles and it's covered by Regan. 
flat out at the top of his crease. Lozon was direct, he's got fast hands. Just a little out of his reach. Oh, that's a really nice pass forward, the Flyers are in, this could seal it. Opportunity is taken away by Brown, but he's got to get back up, play is still live. Oh, and the Stingrays have blocked it on the line, Lukasiewicz doesn't get the goal that he felt sure was going to come his way. Brown and the defenceman couldn't get it clear, there's still an opportunity. Oh, and the dinky little attempt from Lukasiewicz was outrageous and unsuccessful. He was all alone at the back post when the Stingrays thought they got the zone cleared and they hadn't. And he wanted to take the shot and he drew Brown out of position a little further forward than Brown might like to have been. And Lukasiewicz tried the little dinky finish. And he couldn't quite make it happen. Nickerson steps up and intercepts. The Singrays are just having no joy at all at the moment. Skating the puck through neutral ice and into the Flyers zone. Might get a chance now through Tanaka. Again, he's crowded out as two players came across to confront him. Lozon's heart just sank a little bit as he realised he wasn't quite going to reach that first. Can Tanaka make something here? Oh, he's hauled down. That will be a penalty for sure. And the Stingrays will get a power play late in the third period. And it's Pasha, an important face-off win for the Stingrays. Lozon, moving out, goes for the shot, deflects, and it's gone in! Oh, what a relief around the Hull Arena! And Regan was so unlucky as it took a big deflection right in front of him. Not sure whose the final touch was. Might have been Meyer. We'll take a look again at the replay, but the Stingrays have got it tied. Meyer was certainly on the doorstep. And I think it'll be his equalising goal. 3-3 in the 59th minute. Knox can't get the pass back to Galbraith. Then puts the hit on, there's still time for the Stingrays. Galbraith goes for the shot, Knox is there, saved at the side of the goal and covered with three seconds to go. And Regan stayed calm, and he needed to. Let's take another look at that. Scal Brace persistent as his first shot's blocked. He recovers the puck and knocks, able to knock it down and put it on goal. Lows on waits if Knox can win the draw. Just adjusting his position. And the puck is not won cleanly. Fleming did a good job from the face-off. And both teams will get a point, and we will go to overtime. Auger wins the first face-off of the extra session. Here comes Reba. Can't knock it over the blue line. There's Lozom. Carried it past one, but not past Nickerson. Auger wins the first face off of the extra session. Here comes Reba. Can't knock it over the blue line. And there's Lozom. Carried it past one, but not past Nickerson. Knox is back to this in the corner. Can't get it past Nickerson. Can at the second attempt, and now it's Lozom. Got Osman and Jameson up with him. Lozon's trying to do it all himself. He gives it to Osman, and what a stop that is! It's fantastic from Kevin Regan. The net falls, but that was his pad kicking into the goal. 
that was superb. Lozon made it happen with the stick handling, and Osman was there. And look at the glove reaching up and smothering it. That's Osman, you may be able to hear and see. With the frustration down on the bench. And now the Flyers are looking dangerous, moving it back in, chance at the back post and put wide by Milan. Back out into the crease, the Flyers have got a real chance here, if Milan can shoot, oh what a block that is from Pasha who's lost his stick. Milan again, oh he tried to play the pass and Pasha did get a block, he needs to try and get his stick back. Milan, Flyers, save is made and it's cleared away by the Stingrays, only partially, Milan again takes Knox out of the play. Tries to feed it across. Oh, and what a block that is from Frederick. Commitment from the Stingrays. Pasha, then Frederick. And Brown in the way of anything that his defensemen weren't. Jameson. Ten seconds. Backhand shot. Saved right on the doorstep. Lovato's got it again. Can he send it across for one more chance? Couple of seconds. Tanaka. It's got to be now. And it isn't going to be. Time will expire. And we will go to some penalty shots. So the first shooter will be Shimon in the shootout. And he will go up against David Brown. The road team shoots first. Three rounds to try and decide a winner. It's Shimon against Brown. And it's the blocker save low down from David Brown. First shooter for the Stingrays will be Carl Lozon. We'll take another quick look as the shot fired off the blocker. Brown has to go back to the bench. There's Lozon who pulled a nice move onto the backhand in the first period to open the scoring. What will he try this time against Regan? Oh, kicked away by the right pad, Lozon. Tried the double move. And a little feint. And the shot on the forehand. And he tried that with great success against the clan last season. He scored three goals in a game with the same move. Two breakaways and a shootout. But he couldn't lift that over the pad of Regan. Now it's Ned Lukasevich. Left and then right. And the backhand shot is smothered by Brown in the glove. Zakovato is next out. Nice. Against Regan. Oh, and the shot is kicked away off the left pad of Regan. Tried the little snapshot. And we are still scoreless, so we are now essentially in sudden death with Chris Auger. Can he put the Flyers in front in the shootout? Left the puck behind, and it was poked away by Brown. And the Stingrays now will have a shot to win it. And it will be Jordan Meyer. He scored the equaliser with a minute and 16 to go. Can he get the shootout winner? The home crowd Roars him on. This could end it all. And it's no. Regan is having a fine shootout. Both netminders are matching each other save for save. And now the order changes and the Stingrays will shoot first. It can be any shooter. It doesn't have to be somebody new. It can be one of the original three. And it's going to be Dominic Osman coming forward. So the Stingrays will shoot first. And can they find a way past Regan? Osman with a great chance. And in overtime. Can he score in the shootout? He goes for the shot. And it loops up and drops wide. Just trying to snap it past him. And Lukasevich is out to try again. Pulled a move onto the backhand side last time. 
Will he try something different again? It's the wide approach and back to the centre for Lukasiewicz. And he scores past the glove and the Flyers get the extra point. A 1-0 shootout victory for a 4-3 final score. And the Flyers extend their lead over the Stingrays in the Elite League table to five points. It's a four-point weekend for the visitors. The Stingrays will have to be content with three. As we see again, Lukasiewicz, nothing fancy this time, just snapped it past. And Brown couldn't get it in the glove. That's similar to what Osman was trying. Yet again, the Stingrays have found Kevin Regan, a tough nut to crack.